Alright, this is where it all started. During the winter, there were seedlings, the light was on, and we started the growing. Well, there was hundreds of these. This is what's left over. You know, and these shells were full. But since the elements are being changed and things are going different, plants are not behaving the way that they normally should. I mean, they just haven't been. I don't care what anybody says. And the weeds are good, man. They hold in the soil. Weeds are just, I mean, people, they just want to hurt things. <clears throat> All the weeds that I get out of here go to Goosey, Goosey, Goosey. Yeah, see? This was the container part of the garden. There <coughs> is. So I really am happy to see Oxalis because, well, when there's a thistle. Because, look at these, these are so cool. because everything is different. Now there is a bunch of beautiful lavender there, but we have people who mow the lawn and they don't give a shit where the shavings go, so. But yeah, a lot of it's gone to seed. Seems pretty early. Pretty early. So, also likes the grass. Oh, look. look. Chai flower. Okay, so now on to the gardens. Because there's more than one here. This was for potatoes. Okay. And yeah, the oxalis is good. We need the weeds. The thyme, if we don't get some air. I don't know what that vine is. I don't know. And who knows, since this is here, what the hell's really going on, and why would this be open? Weird, 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 what you find while you're out walking the grounds. That was another garden plot. There's some in there, but there weren't really plants put in. It stopped at the covering part. Now those are mine. Babies. There's a bunch of other ones in other places, but... Do you see the gooses? Hello gooses! Hello gooses! I don't know where the punk ducks are. But nothing was put here. Nothing. Nothing was buried here or planted here to try to take care of. Was considering making it a uh, chicken house again. But see, sometimes considerations only go so far. Because the people who helped take care of this lawn just... I mean, we had to put little sticks up around our choice plants that we plant just so they don't get weedy dude because people assume they think they know <coughs> and they pull out the things that you really need now the reason why I put that there and it's not doing as good as I thought it would huh because it likes water but for some reason it doesn't like that much water, I guess. But no, it's usually by brooks and streams. See, everything's in chain. There is no straight uh, thing going. And I guess her lavender died. Huh. Hmm. Unless that's just a different plant. And tag. Oh, it's a curuculium. <laughs> no wonder it doesn't look like a... It almost looks like a ginkgo or a parsley. But this stuff, Goosey loves. 
I forget what that one is. But each has their little carings. Well, that's interesting. I never noticed that. Huh. Hmm. Anyway, so, let's go on with the gardening. This is all grown back from whichever. The gooses, gooses, gooses! And that was the compost bin. It doesn't see much light, so it really doesn't get to compost much. And that's last year's. That we're putting over and letting go there. We'll probably be adding this straw and uh, topsoil we amended it with, or she amended it with. Yep, my rosemary, chamomile, sage, lavender, chives. I think that, yeah. And all the oxalis is doing is helping break down the nutrients in that. Now that stuff might be poison ivy or oak, and I don't grab that stuff, man. I don't. And I love how the spider webs are around and they're taking care of uh, the infestation conditions. I mean, some things are just strange. We had the weirdest mold coming out of the uh, soil and stuff that we've never seen before. <coughs> the fungus mold. So it, it like took into the plants. Oops. And the maters, man, they should be huge. They should be at the top of these things, and they're not barely doing anything. <sighs> I really wonder if um, the soil was too uh, hot. I don't know what those are, but something's coming up. And here's another part of the semi-mounded beans. They should be the top by now. <coughs> they really should. But they're not. And this, you know, what are we supposed to do? Aren't these beautiful? Yeah, that is so cool. I like the yellow ones too. Aren't they pretty? And so we borrow the, she's borrowing the neighbors. Here's some squash and a few, one or two things, but dogs come in here and, you know, sometimes you gotta let the dirt rest, right? And the Peking duckies who need clean water and a bath. Yes, they do, babies. Peep, 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 peep. Uh, and that's the punk duck. Fuck the. Ugh. Anyway, so. Yeah, that's the gardens. And. I don't know what else we can say or do. It's too hot. The stuff. Oh, I'll show you what happens. And this is just wrong. You should see the size of the dandelions in some of these places. Oh my gosh. What a salad. <clears throat> Something literally wiped this stuff out. It was like overnight. It was just weird. And, I mean, we've got stuff happening. I don't know what else to flip and say or do. See that dandelion back there? It's <laughs> humongous. Get some for Goosey. And there's the mint. But yeah, people. <clears throat> the way of the gardening has changed. I mean, I never did straight farm gardening except for the community garden but I always had three things growing at once 
I made sure, you know, the soil was good. And, but that was 30 years ago. Things are not the same. And I think it's just time to quit thinking that this third dimensional realm is what counts when it's our spirit and everything that works with it that counts. I mean, nature has a better plan if we'd listen. And we can't control everything. We can only control how we respond to it. And the whole ideology of man knows better than nature, we're fucked. I mean, seriously. That's a foobar. I'm really over. T I'm, I'm over it. I miss the reality of the gardens. You know, that's why I do it in the containers and that, too. Look at They're alive. They're healthy. Those are good. And like I said before, the weeds, I feed the goose. And, um, it all works out. People got to get off of their ideology of limits of things that is only in the way that they think they know them. This is not real life. Well, it's really not. I mean, oh my gosh. So. That's all I got to say. You know, that's all I got to say is everybody do your best and uh, try not to annihilate conditions with others when it could save your life. Have a good one.